Merch alert. That's right. You heard her. We have merch now. If you're looking for a mug, a hoodie, a shirt, a blanket, we're your people. Be sure to check out our exclusive I Was a Bravo Fan Before Scandaval tees. They will be perfect to wear while watching the VPR reunion. Check out the link in the description of the podcast or our Instagram bio. Hello, hello, hello. What the fuck is wrong with Tamara's face? I would pay you guys. Please. To stop stop. reposting that shit. And like, I would feel bad if it was like, you know, she had psoriasis or something like involuntary. No, bitch. You want it to look like that. And every single day she posts an update and even when I mute her, you hoes repost that shit. Even though I asked you nicely to stop posting that shit. Every time I log in, I'm like, <gasps> because what the fuck is that? I don't care. You got a chemical peel? Huh? I thought that it was like a poster for the sequel of the things we lost in the fire. Like, that's what I thought it was. Like, I was just very confused every time I seen it. And she's muted, to say the least. It doesn't make sense to mute her because then all the other pages go and repost it. But why? I never get pissed off because I understand that that's content. But this time I'm getting pissed off because don't nobody want to see that shit for real. I want to see after. I don't want to see now. Show me what it looks like after. Like, God. What makes it worse is that she got online crying about what Vicky said. And it's like a like fucking killer croc (laughs) is crying online. And I'm just like, am I in a bad Batman movie? Like, what are you talking about? Talk, do a voice note. Not do Vicky making her story. cry. <laughs> yeah, did you see that? <laughs> did you see that? I love that. I love it. She deserves it. She deserves it. Cry. She deserves she, Vicky it. Vicky brought up, brought up her daughter. She's like, well, if my daughter told me to not do housewives, to not embarrass us, to not show my titties on the screen, to not do all this, and we, she wouldn't talk to me, I would do whatever my daughter says just to fix it. And then Tamara, Tamara goes, Vicky, you can have my spot on OC if you just leave me alone. And I'm like, listen, Killer Croc, and those crocodile tears, <laughs> fuck off, because one, you are getting your karma, just like we said. There's always something, when you point the finger at somebody, and you guys are on YouTube. How many, how many are pointing back, though? One, two, three. There's three pointing back at you. So that means you've done even more. So take it. So take it. Because she has all that mouth with Shannon talking about drunk driver. You're drunk all the time. Drunk. Drunk with an O. So take it. Not just that. It's just the the way that she keeps. Oh, is this before or after you have a drink? Oh, we're going to crash. I'm not crashing into someone's house, and then I'm not about to run over someone's daughter. And then I don't have a problem with alcohol. And it's like, okay, listen, we get it. You got beef with her, and you're Tamara, and you're gonna like, you know, really like take the mouse. You're never gonna let the mouse go. We get that about you. But the season is filmed, baby. It's been months, and you're still online, going to different outlets, talking to different people about this, and you are still not letting the mouse go. So why would I, even though I'm not even Team Vicky, you are Team Vicky, even though I'm not Team Vicky, I'm neutral. I don't really like one of the OC bitches like that to, well, Emily, I do, to really get on their side like that. But I will say what I see is absolutely, because Tamara tore Shannon ass to bits all season and she's not done that's the crazy part about it so take it you can take it don't don't try to cry now it's tearing me apart not Tamara but just um 
how Shannon is just being treated. Like, I just don't like it. But, you know, I am happy that Vicky made her cry. But you know what I hated more than all of this? You just see, I am happy that Vicky made her cry. I am. I stand on that. And those alligator tears. I don't feel bad at all. I don't. Um, but I hated Teddy Millencamp's presence a little bit more. Really? Yeah, a little bit well, more than because all of this. I don't know. I think she did kind of eat that one line. She was like, well, That one line, you know, it was a good time, but you know, I'm just kind of over her. And I, even Vicky's like, Oh gosh, there she My is. The thing is, it's like, I can't get rid of her. Like, I didn't want to see you on Beverly Hills. She's Brandy Matt's time. I didn't want. Exactly. She's the white Brandy Maxwell. She's the white Brandy Maxwell. If you know, you know. And that's just what it is. Um, but I did have a few questions because this episode was like, um, we didn't really get into too much oh, other wait, than Katie. Wait until we um, okay, we're we're today we're going into OC in Dubai. I just want to tell everybody that Jack said that he's bipolar and he has PTSD. Congratulations, you're still an asshole. Take your fucking... Oh, he's bipolar and he has PTSD? Yeah, that's what happened at... Um, what traumatized him? I don't know. He traumatizes other people, so I'm not really sure. And mm. to my knowledge, he never went off to war. And then you spent the last 13 years on reality TV, so it couldn't have happened in the last 13 years. Because you, mm. from what I saw on and off camera, you've been the one traumatizing others. So the PTSD part, I'm lost. The bipolar part, I feel like that that is something that we've been like. Is anyone in the room surprised? No, Janelle but from Team Mom, you, she's also bipolar. I think we're all bipolar. Like I think that please. we like please like you waited until you. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is we all have some kind of <laughs> mental health issues. Maybe not bipolarness. And that's what pisses me off is because it's like there are actual like good people in the world yeah. who have bipolar disorder and they don't mean to act the way that they act. They genuinely cannot control it and they don't have access to insurance or mental health facilities or anything to go and blame their behavior on. They just have to pretty much be manic and come out of that and just deal with it. You waited until you were 44 years old on the brink of fucking divorce on a TV show to go and get your diagnosis. I'm not trying to minimize it. Thank you for coming out and sharing that with the class. But, babe, we know, and it does not excuse you from being an asshole. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. And hopefully, this is my thing, too, since you made this announcement. Show us with your actions. Actually, go to therapy. Do your therapy sessions. Not and breaking. change and be a better person. And be a better person. That's the best way to show us. Not just saying like, oh, right. I'm bipolar. And just leaving it at, at that and still acting like an asshole. You right. have to put forth the work to change and be a better person. Take your meds. Go mm -hmm. to the therapy. Um, Apologize and try to build better Take relationships with the people that you journey. fucked over. Yeah. Uh, like what will Whitney Rose say? A healing journey. A healing journey. A healing <laughs> Shout out to the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I love that. Whitney Rose said, well, we asked who was the last housewife that she texted. And her answer was unintentionally messy. She said that she texted Melissa Gorga and Teresa. Ooh. And she says she's not getting in the middle of it. But I thought that was so juicy. Child. And she's like, I've had the biggest crush on Caroline Stonberry. <laughs> and I'm like saying I think we all kind of have like a little crush on Caroline Stonberry a little bit of like I hate her a little bit of I want to be her mm -hmm. for me. exactly, exactly. For me. yeah okay okay exactly. you feel that too because there are some times when I'm just like but there yeah. are, there's some other times when I'm like mm, kiss and make up you kiss and make up I kiss and make up I kiss and make up we kiss and make up and she doesn't know I exist the entire time for any of it. Okay, yeah. so back into OC. 
Okay, so yeah, um, the only thing that we really got into aside from this traders game was the fact that Katie lied about how many times she has sex with that man. Um, how Katie? many? Katie, the new one. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to that. Uh, um, I was paying attention to Shannon having to get her breathalyzer installed into her car and then yes trying to figure out who the traitor was i guess i i miss I, like i didn't pay attention to um to katie saying what tell me what happened i think she lied and she said like she had sex with the man one time and then they caught her again and then she said the the number changed <laughs> no we're we're talking about her husband yeah, this was her husband. She ain't having sex with nobody else, is she? No, no. I'm just saying, like, I just, because the only person that I heard mention sex a lot was Alexis Bellino and John Jansen. So I wasn't even paying attention to Katie talking about her sex life. Am I getting husband. them confused? Because Alexis Bellino will talk about was how she she's the one that... John Jansen a bunch. All right. Um, Shannon Bedore, <laughs> she got a breathalyzer machine installed in her car. Uh, because she said that her daughters can't take her the places <laughs> that she needs to go. So I'm very happy that she got that installed. Um, and I hope it works real good. Put on there. I also seen because I brought this up with my coworker, and he was like, one time this lady needed to start her car, and she had one of the machines, and she got Was a she... ten year old to blow in the machine. I don't, and it I don't I don't think it's funny. Yeah, I mean I would hope imagine if the 10 year old failed the breathalyzer test. <laughs> like Aaron, I hope it worked. Then, and I, then I have the question, people... well, where the fuck are we? <laughs> <laughs> the blind leading the fucking blind, babe. No, but I hope that no one uses that. Uh, you know. I don't know. I think that Shannon. I, I just want people, and I understand that the reason that we have sympathy for Shannon is because she's going through so much. Mm -hmm. I do think that it was very irresponsible of her to do what she did. I just hope that we keep the same energy when it comes to Karen. Yeah. Because I yeah, feel I like said that. a lot of people are giving Shannon like they're like, oh baby, you know why? Gorgeous. Cause camera. Um, what the thing is this? When it comes to Karen, I do want them to hold her accountable, like how they hold Shannon, because they definitely held Shannon accountable. Oh, but it's yeah. just, I think that Shannon has cried and she's genuinely like remorseful. She's apologized. She's showing mm -hmm. you like each and every episode, like, I hate that that happened. That was a bad time in my life. I'm trying to do better. And I'm hoping that we see the same thing from Karen, too, because it's a di I think it's a difference, too. These are two different people. Shannon is, like, Shannon. Karen is, like, um, she's strong. She's really strong. I think yeah, Shannon can well, get there. I think there. that my biggest fear is that... Karen's like, I clipped the tree, so what? No, I don't think she's going to be this brash. I think with Karen, we're going to get a billion excuses. Mm -hmm. And like how the police department was wrong, how it was all set up, how Todd schemed this up to come with her with the bullshit. Like, I feel like even though she might say, you know what, I was wrong. That's that. If they keep bringing it up, she's going to have a billion excuses or she's going to snap. With Shannon, you can keep bringing it up, but she's still so beaten down that she can't even like really stand up for herself yeah, because she she's getting sued. Like She has to worry about her children. Like She has to get this breathalyzer put on. She has camera in her fucking face all the time. There's three billion things going on. And on Potomac, I think it's just going to be Giselle constantly like berating her and she's gonna be like you know what bitch like actually yeah I did it and you better watch out before what you end up like John Jansen's daughter 
Oh my god, I still to this day think that little girl should have been out the way. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because I said it the other day. You did. But get your fucking kids. That's what I have to say to that. How did you feel about the traitors game? Fun until I went on the internet and everyone was like, This shit sucked. This is a terrible episode. It this was, but surprise, I got a traders game for you. Were you surprised? Look, okay, so I'm gonna ask you questions. This literally You're the same me. question. I don't like this. I want to let you know. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> literally the same questions that they asked, I'm gonna ask you because I felt like some of the answers were wrong. And you give me the um the OC housewife that best belongs with what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So who is the biggest liar? Okay, so the at the that was present at the game. Just in your on on OC on this season of OC, who do you think is the biggest biggest liar? What's this Bellino? Okay. Who do you, who do you think is the most judgmental? Yeah, as oh, they go on neck and neck. Cause I love Emily, but the way that she's telling Jen, bitch, you need your bitch, you're stupid. Sell this fucking Rolex and pay your bills, ho. No, but it's Tamara. It is Tamara. I'm glad you got that one right. That that answer yeah, will always be Tamara. Who do you think is really uh black? What do they ask that? They ask that? They ask that? Yeah. Who's black? <laughs> on the OC cast? Mm -hmm. You try to get me like what the setup no, is I'm not I'm so serious. I feel like I'm like Birdman on the Breakfast Club and you're like fucking playing with me on OC who is the blackest one. Who do you think? Heather. If they did like you don't want to talk about shit. Oh my god, we had the same to... answer. Really? I said Heather DeBrow too. I was like, if there is anybody that's secretly black at this table, it's Heather Dubro. If they like did that ancestry test, the same one that I Spice's dad did, <laughs> then it would definitely be Heather. I think like what makes you think that she's secretly black? It's because me, it's her ways. Like she wants everything to be mm -hmm. hush hush. Yes. <laughs> and also, like, she don't fuck around with people raising their voice in her house, making big deals. Like, she does not. She loves, like, a theme, a house party. Like, it's giving very African-American. Yeah. I do believe it's Heather DeBurn. And it's because of just those actions, like, her life, like, she just goes all out and I'm like this is something that like a black person would do like with the eye sculptures and like just like the bunch of random shit like clowns and then like fortune tellers and then like you see Scooby Doo like, or some like, like random shit. It's like a fucking shit. child's first birthday and they're not yeah. gonna remember any of that shit and it's because it's for you it's not for the child. Yeah and it's for and black people do that every single year and also it's like don't bring this shit up on camera. Mm -hmm. And you brought it up on camera. I'm gonna play nice with you, but once the cameras go down, I might choke slam you against the wall. Yeah, no it's fun. that's why no it's Heather. Tried to tell us. It's definitely Heather. Okay, um, who would make a great trader? <laughs> I would say Tamara, but we saw she was a terrible one. She lost. She had to yeah, it's surprisingly, yeah, a terrible one. I think. Um, Gina. Gina don't know how to shut the fuck up. I think Jen would actually be great. I was just about to say Jen because she she's fucking clueless. Doesn't know what is going yeah. on. She's yeah, she's like, fucking clueless. She does. She's she like, be... am I the traitor? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, we just said it, and she's like, oh, okay. I was just about to say Jen when I thought about it because she is genuinely fucking clueless. And I would not want her as a traitor. I would want her as a faithful 
That oh is no, I wonder if a traitor. Because she's not going to know what to do. She's going to put the wrong people yeah. out every yeah, single But time. that's what's going to be so fun to watch. She's not going to be able to take off the hood like everybody else. It's going to get stuck. Like, I just feel like there's so many things she's that are She's literally going to leave the room in the fucking traitor's costume and like, everyone's show up. Like, like, bitch, it's you. <laughs> it's just... I, I do feel like that way. Like, I do feel that way. Yeah, put 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 Jen on there for sure. Did you see um that Phaedra's going to dance with the stars? For for sure. Oh, I did but see that. Announcement. I did see that. I did see that. And they said her partner, who was her partner? Val. Valentine. I know Val. He's the one who um he's been there a long time. He, He's friends with Artem, and they said that they said, "Okay, y'all, update." They said that Artem is staying with a friend while Nikki Bella is at the family home. I wonder is Val the friend? I was literally going to ask, "How does this relate to the Bella twins?" Because I just felt like because like, somehow, it. some way, it he did. knew it was coming. I just felt I had like to it say did. something. Does Phaedra now know the Bella twins? No, but. I feel like once she meets Lisa Barlow, Lisa Barlow can introduce her to the Bella Twins. I agree. Do you think that Phaedra is going to do a good job on Dancing with the Stars? Because I do. I have a feeling she's going to do a great job. I don't know. I can't wait to see, though. I genuinely I have I feel a feeling. Like it can go either way. But you said, yeah, when I asked you when the rumors were circulating, you said that you think she's going to be good. So I don't know. I hope she does, though, because I'm going to be voting for her regardless. I think they should also add the mom from Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. You've said this multiple times. I feel in, like it would be situation. really good. Really, really good to give her that chance. Guys, please, like, I don't know if he has, like, a secret, like, connection with... I think because she's been popping up randomly, like... Where? Facebook. That was the last time I seen something about her. And then it was like, um, somebody was like, oh, you know she was, she meant business with this shortcut. And then it was like showing like different pictures of the shortcut. And I was like, yeah, I agree. And you think that that translates that she needs to be on Dance with the Stars? Yeah, because they also showed that picture of her like when doing- When she was dancing. When she was doing, yeah, like the little numbers that she used to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, cha, cha. this would be really good. I want her and Esteban to be on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, yes. Yeah. That would eat so bad. Mm-hmm. Not a bunch of other people, but did you see Anna Dovey with her her ankle monitor on it? I oh, did, God, and so I was ghetto. like, that's very fucking ghetto, actually. They need ghetto to stop. and ironic, because they need to if take it was that a off. black person, yeah. it would be different. It wouldn't be cute. It wouldn't be fun. They wouldn't even get the opportunity. But no, since they Anna Dovey is the scammer that people like hate to love, she gets to put on her ankle. When do we start and... that? And I think it's very ghetto that they're like, what is the word that I'm looking for? That they're like shining the spotlight on it in mm-hmm. such a positive way. Like she's being sensationalized. This bitch is on house arrest. Exactly. She can how is she even here? But then also, well, for work. Does she to live work, there? You're allowed to. <laughs> Does she live <laughs> under the, the stage? Studio. <laughs> she sleeps there. Um, I think what I didn't like was people compared it to when when Lindsay Lohan was outside with her ankle monitor, and I'm like, at least Lindsay Lohan was a fucking actress. Like she's known for being a fucking actress. Anna Delby had a Netflix series about her because she's known for being a fucking scammer. That's what she's known for. Lindsay Lohan had talent. This bitch, she can steal, I guess. She can be But she was woman. outside, wasn't she? What do you mean? With the ankle monitor. She wasn't on Dancing with the Stars, was she? She wasn't on Dancing with the Stars, but even if she was, it would make more yeah. sense because she's an actress. Like, She's in the entertainment industry. Mm-hmm. We have taken someone who has scammed millions out of people, not only given her a Netflix show, but we've also 
given her a pedestal to go on fucking Dancing with the Stars. Like, what did she do to this? Like, then put a fucking Octomom on. Put the bitches from Team Mom on. Like, what are we I was just here? about to say soon. I feel like they're going to try to put Yolanda on. Yolanda Adams? No, not Yolanda Adams. The Selena story. Like, oh, she just. She won't make it there. She No, she won't. Trust. She, but I do. I definitely agree with the team moms. No, just keep them off, like please. But I will. Wait, say, you just said it. Don't say things I like that. I said it, then, but I said next I thing mean, you know, like damn, love after lockup. Like it's just going to be. Oh my! Well, yeah, kind of then do no. it because I want to see Lacey. No, that's the. <laughs> First person, I want to see Lacey see. do the fucking tango. Lacey doing the tango. Lacey and John Jansen. No, <laughs> fuck John Jansen. Don't give John Jansen any more opportunities. Lacey and Terry Debro. Yes, would love to see Terry Debro. Is this a card? Like, I feel like soon either Shannon or Heather is gonna. <laughs> You know what? They did all that just to not pick Sheena. And I'm like, damn. I was just like, after probably after watching that finale, they were like, yeah, never mind. She's just an ass eater. We don't need anybody to eat ass. We need people to dance. Correct. <laughs> like, I feel like they had her name down when they saw her crying. They're like, oh. They okay, crossed, like they crossed that shit out, and I mean, like, in, disrespectfully, not even like why it out it, really. Yeah. Nice. They they were just like they no. scratched it out <laughs> like a big black X with an Expo marker. No, <laughs> smelly one. No, <laughs> no next to it, and then it was kind of faded. So then they went over it with the red line. <laughs> You take the two because it's so oh, accurate because they're always faded. Like, because I, I swear, like I swear, they were going to put Sheena on and like it was going to be a secret. No, and we hear like rumors. I knew that it wasn't like, going to happen though because she wanted it too bad. That's how it is when you want things too bad. They're like, no. Well, there's a difference between manifesting it, but when you're like envious. And, like, you know, you're mad because your friend got it. Your friend who literally got cheated on and her life was upended and you made it all about... You sat there and cried and made it about you? She was literally the black swan. Do you remember how the black swan, just, like, how that happened? How that whole thing happened? That shit was wild. I watched that again. And I watched it drunk, guys. And let me tell That's you That's my something. background. It's literally her. And then at the end, she fucking died. And she was like, it was perfect. Like, the whole time, I'm like, wow. It meant everything to her. It, I got it. Like, I, that's such a good movie. Such a good movie. Like, I love how she treats her mom. <laughs> I feel like it was just like an elevated version of Team Mom. It was. That's why. That's why I enjoyed <laughs> that. Yeah, but that's it. Because honestly, with OC, that they played that game and that was it. Trust me, because are dead. Did um, you think that Heather was a traitor? Yeah, I could see that. Damn. Because I genuinely thought it was Emily. I could see that because Heather's. She's a traitor. Yeah. She's sneaky. She's but sneaky. she's like not like a traitor in the she's way. She's very sneaky. And the thing that I like Jim about is, Heather is she, like sly. she lies. And it's not even a lie because it's it's like she lies, but she says it so like stern, like it's Keep a fact. repeating it until it's, it's the, the truth. truth. And that's what she does. Yeah. To the point where it is true, so you can't call her a liar. It's true. She and the amount of money it. that she has, it's like she's like it is true. Whatever I say is true. And they're like, yeah. 
And that's why Gina, and it was like, Gina was upsetting me at first because it's like, okay, you flipped on the new girl so fucking hard. But at the same time, I'm like, it's Gina. Like, yeah. you need Heather. You do. You're doing your own hair and makeup and confessions. Yeah, I should do. So you need Yeah, I should do. So I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Um, What else did you think about this? Did you... I'm I'm excited. Like I I'm loving the season. I know that people yeah. this wasn't everyone's favorite episode. I will say it was more of the boring ones. Um I felt like they just took too long with the game. Okay. Yeah, it but it was a filler episode. It was a filler, but it was it's a really good season, so I don't mind. It's just right. But yeah. the other episodes are so good that you don't really mind that this one was a little bit slower. Do you think that Teddy Mellencamp is kind of the blame? Yes. I do think that she set the tone for how this episode was going to go. I like when she pushed Tamara in the water, though. Yeah, she did good with that. But that's, that tells you a lot. I like, just don't best, want her coming to OC. Came on, well, I hope she never comes again. Like, Tamara, babe, watch who you podcast with and or for. Your best friend comes to your show that you just got back on and she tries to drown you. And she just, like, laughed it off. I have a feeling that she's going to try to come on that season. No. I will write letters. Like, I don't even know how to send a letter. I don't know how to write a money order. Like, I, you I know, will write letters. I think Katie Boss would actually be a good fit for OC. She would, for, she would eat them up. For OC, yeah. I think she would be great. Yeah. It would be, like, a nice refresher. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, how are you? how are you enjoying Dubai? Loved like it. it. I did. I loved, loved it. it. It was amazing. And I am so scared because it's going to get canceled. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm glad you said it, though. I'm, I didn't have to say it. You said it. I, I felt it. Like you telepathically, like Eugene Green. Yeah. Like, hey, it was, I it was like it too much, though, because it's going to get canceled. Dumb it ass. was this episode when I, I, I mean, I thought about it before. But this episode really sealed it for me. I was like, it yeah. Sealed it. <laughs> this episode, well, oh, no, I feel like the last few episodes have been so good to me. Like, it's I feel the like there's fact- no high stakes drama. I feel like mm-hmm. it's fashion, it's pettiness, it's he said, she said. It's, I had this recording of this person saying, something it's you know like you want to be on the show so bad like it's giving housewives to me i don't understand Mm -hmm. please explain to me from your vantage point of why it's not for you can you okay i got it i got the answer can you name four to four people just off the top of your head that you don't really care about like there are just like (laughs) Reality stars or just people in general that you just don't really care about like that. Angelina Pavernick from Jersey Shore. Okay. Um Vicky Gumbelson. Not Angelina, isn't she on <laughs> Because I feel like well, me? people have brought up some things that, you know, like we love her that. We're literally on her that right now. The fucking her that YouTube banner is like it looks like superstars on there, Jesus and like Christ. everyone is on the fucking her that YouTube banner. Like we have all like a great lineup, and we're not on there. And then, but Angelina's on there, and she did like what fucking five episodes, and people are like, "Are you still with her that?" I'm like, "Hell yeah." We're just not on the fucking banner. I don't know why. Y'all gotta ask her that. Well, I would like to know too, her that. Yeah. I thought we, we were family. Send you, I think it could be, you know, they didn't have a picture. Mm. We could send you some pictures. In the words of Kim Zosiak, their name was on the list. Ken Aaron's wasn't. It wasn't. And I'm like Evelyn Lozada with who was she with? And she was, oh, Evelyn Lozada and Jen Williams. She's like, um, we're not on the fucking list. And we're just like doing a podcast anyway. Like, hey, yeah, we're here. We're still we, on here. We, we still in this bitch until we're not. What's up? 
Time to get crunk. Eyebrows on Time to get crunk. Okay, speaking of. Speaking of, so it was Angelina Pavernick, Vicky Gunvalson, mm. um, Jennifer Williams. Why is Vicky on this list? You just said don't care about, like, I don't oh, okay. dislike these people. Okay. It's just I don't care Do about Do you sure them. you want to go with Jennifer, or would you rather replace it with Brandy? I dislike Brandy, so what are we doing? Okay, true. True. <laughs> I'll just shut up. So who's the I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I I know what I'm doing, and then I will also say um, right now, Erica from Love and Hip Hop. Oh, Erica, that's a good one. I absolutely just don't give a fuck about her at all. Like I don't hate her, I don't like her, I just don't give a fuck about these people. Okay. So, but my point was, imagine you had a show with these four people. Oh my god! And the drama was good. Like Vicky slapped the fuck out of Evelyn or something. Not not Evelyn. Vicky slapped the fuck out of Jennifer. Um, who's the who's the other person that you said? Angelina was talking shit about Erica and brought up the comments that she made. Like the storyline is there. Yeah. But it's like I still don't give a fuck about them. Right. That's what's going on with this store. That's what's going on with this show right now. Because it's like, you see Lisa and you see all these people and they're like, oh, I have text messages. You said this. I have fashion. I look really good. Um, I'm a business owner. But it's like, you just don't care. You just don't care because you don't really care about the people. I think that's what it is. They haven't given... I feel like they do so good, like the last few episodes or the second half of the season. But mm-hmm. coming in, they don't give you enough to be invested. It might, well, no, because I was invested. I think it was also the time jump to like this happened so long ago. Correct. When Beyonce you're was talking in about Dubai. the Beyonce concert before she even did her first tour stop. I remember that that was literally the time that that movie came out with um, what is his name with Eddie Murphy and Lauren London. You, you remember that? Yes, Damn, that, that was, was a minute. That was a minute ago. That's Why do you when associate that... the two. <laughs> because I remember I was, <laughs> I was literally talking about Beyonce in Dubai during the movie like i wasn't even paying attention to the movie and i got told to shut the fuck up actually that's why i remember it because i was like i don't really care about this movie did you guys t- see beyonce in fucking dubai and how she held that note yeah the, the challenge and i got started. told to shut the fuck up so that's why i remember <laughs> and i remember what i had to i had the salvos guys Pizza and Hawaiian wings. The Salvos literally got closed for having roaches. No. And I don't know if they're going to open back up, but even if they do. Are you serious? It was on next door next to someone lost their dog. And then about how the liberals want mechanical, like weird, I don't know, weird shit. It's too much. You got to bomb these motherfuckers. Oh, not like that. Like, you know what I mean. Like roach bombs. Like roach bombs. It's a little, yeah, wait, what day is it? Like, <laughs> be clear. Um. Okay, so I guess you just don't give a fuck. So that's hard. That's, that's why. I, I don't know. Because it's also like, this is drama. This is you know what? Drama. Who's annoying me too? Lisa. I get what she was doing, but it just came off so bitchy. She's so because whiny. Like, if you are telling me on one hand you don't fuck with this bitch, then the next hand or the next few days you're throwing a party with her and you guys are wanting me to kiss your hand when you know I don't fuck with that bitch. Whose side are you on? But then on the other side, yeah. Ayana's like, I just want to, like, I've had your back and I still have your back and I care about you as my friend. I just want to get along. We have to film this fucking show. And you know what? I actually like Caroline Sandberry. 
So I get both sides of it. But I feel like Ion tried that shit. Like when this is why I'm on Lisa's side a little bit more. Because when Ion played that voice message for the ladies, like at the table with her ops, why are you at a fucking table with Caroline Stanberry and whoever the fuck else was there? And you're playing a voice message from me talking about um, you know, what Sarah Almondini said. Yeah, I I did think that was a little bit weird. And then you're telling me that you don't fuck with these people. These people, like, what do you? I did think that was a little bit weird, but I also think it was because they didn't really have anything else. You think she had to pull? I think Ion was like, "Oh my god, we really are going to get canceled." Cause like, because it's nothing happening. Power. We're just sitting around eating fucking French toast and twiddling our thumbs and wearing clothes. That's not enough. For me, that's enough, though. That's the problem. Yeah, but it's but not. not for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, for everyone. Because it's like, while right. I'm watching, I'm like, well, I could get on IMVU and really <laughs> shake some shit up in the bad girls club room. Like, you're like, you know what? This actually reminds me on IMVU. I actually want that wig that Lisa has on. Or those right? angel wings that Lisa has that. Because not that only can you put that, put that shit on on IMVU, mm-hmm. but you can also go in a room and just randomly say some shit about somebody's character and come up to them and slap them and then leave the room. You can do that. When do they add that? IMVU, you can literally punch the shit out of somebody and, and then leave just the leave? room. I've done it before. <laughs> Multiple times. Why? <laughs> Why? Because it's like some people they just try it. Like you know, I don't like that. And then there's, there's no consequences. You just because when you come in a room, it's like you speak me. to people, <laughs> and then it's like they just get. It's if you know, you know, guys. Like I'm telling you, I've come in a room before and like punched the shit out of somebody, and then you leave. And they will you message you. Out? Like, yeah. you can get thrown out. You can get blocked. You can get, like, the person can definitely message you and be like, yo, you just <laughs> punched the shit out of me. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Or they might even follow you. Like, if they can see what room you're going to. Wait, this is the bitch that just punched me in my Yeah, and they come back and they're like, hey... And it's like, you think that shit is over and it's not. Has anyone ever, like, followed you for some unfinished business? No, because I don't go in... I'm smart. I don't go in another public room. I go to a private room, which is my house. So they can't... They can't. So even if they try, they have to send an invite and I have to accept it. And if I don't, they can't get in, so... But that's what I think about. Just as a side note, because I feel like I keep getting off track, but that's what I think about while I'm watching. It's like, it doesn't keep your attention, it doesn't keep my attention. The, the elements are there, but I feel like they do too little, too late. It's the, the year this year has passed, they're not even doing this stuff. Ion and, and Lisa, they shouldn't even have a problem at this point because it's been like a year. What are we really talking about here? Yeah. In the reunion, they filmed that. That was recent, right? The reunion was recent. It was a few days ago. Damn, you can talk about shit from a year ago and remember it? They're watching it back, I guess. They have to be. And I wonder, are they paying attention? That is what I wonder, too. <laughs> I wonder, while they're re-watching it, are they on their phone? Or are they, they well, actually watching? Would you, if you were on the show, because this is what she needs to do. She used to only watch her scenes. If you were on a show, would you watch the show? Or would you only watch your scenes? And be no, honest? I will watch the show. You know why? Because I want to see, see who the fuck say. is talking shit. <laughs> That's the only reason. I want to see what they really feel about me. Yeah. That's what I want to see. I would I would just look at my scenes and like the public outings, like when we're all together. <laughs> So that's what I think is happening. But a lot of people are like, they just do not give a fuck about Dubai. And I, f- I felt bad because they're, I do. Believe- I feel bad too, because I'm like, like I got to the point where I don't watch the show until, uh, well, no, I watch the show, but I don't look at social media until I'm finished with the show because I just want to have a good time. Yeah. Cause they make you not want to watch it. Like literally then- you go on Twitter and they're like, this is the worst <laughs> 
possible show to watch. Like, I hate it. And you're just like, damn, well, how can I enjoy it? Yeah. When I just seen something like this. Now, maybe do I hate it? Like, And I only talked to Kendrick and Samaj about it. Not you either. Because you, like, you don't hate it. You'll watch Kendrick it. Kendrick watches? But that's it. Kendrick loves it. So much so that he watching? recapped it. Don't do that. Not on his birthday. Happy birthday to Kendrick. No, I'm going to do it. Because let me tell you guys something, too. I want to put him out on the podcast. When my birthday came, Kendrick literally came in the group chat. And he called me old as hell. He said that I was old as fuck. And he was like, Aaron, you can't be in your 20s still. You're old as shit. And I'm just like, wow. I was chastised. I was nailed to the cross. Yeah, you were. I. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And then I, I pointed out that, like, the world DM, that was kind of rude. It's his birthday. And like, what oh, did yeah. you mean by that? And I thought he was going to explain it. And he's like, I'm actually at the movies. I'll be back later. And he never came and back. And he never came back. And this, it's guys, this was all it. on my birthday. <laughs> and I was like, are these my friends? It was just Kendrick. Well, yeah, you know it I have to be dramatic. But me, I did. You, Kendrick, I was and like, Raymond damn. I thought me and Kendrick were cool. But it's like, and y'all hear us on here. Like, we're cool. So when he said that, well, I mean, I feel like that was. I just... did tear up a little bit. I was like, "Well, damn, are, is this really? Is this really? You're not old, and you don't look old." He... I thought this was about trust, <laughs> friendship, real he friendship. Did I don't know, but Kendrick watches it and enjoys it so much so that he recapped it. And he's begging people to watch the reunion because we both know that it's last time I talked to Kendrick, he said he hated Dubai. What? I don't think that he said he hated it. He's been the only one. Like, no, I'm just I, kidding. I just want to start a pod. I will say when the season first started, I was not excited at all. Like I did not. Give we a both talked about at that. all. Yeah, but then it picked up, and once it picked up, it was so good. And to know that fake ass crying. Ah, mm-hmm. I'm like, you're not. I will say that I like her a little bit more. Like, like especially after this episode, just seeing how she's been in that position. Because I feel like I've been in that position too, where it's like, yes, me, you are cool. Like how she was with Lisa. It's like, and I love you. I have your back. But it's like, I don't really have a fucking problem with Caroline Stanberry. You do. And I'll never forget my friend Paula. Shout out to you because you literally put that put me in that position like seven years ago. I'm gonna tell it all. Damn, this is my the real name and all. Fucking tell all day. What is happening? Like we're out of retrograde. We're out of Leo season. Like you just really on one today. I'm just kidding, but she did put me in that position, and I was like, damn. But no. Um, and I feel like I'm such a Lisa that it's like, if we don't like this bitch, we don't like this bitch. Yeah, but I think it's a little bit different because when it's you're like, on TV and when you're in a group. On, you're on TV, you're in a group, and you also have money. Like, when, when I have money, I'm totally different than me when I'm broke. When I have money, I don't care about anybody because so I'm like, I love you. Like, I love everybody. What That's are fair. we really beefing about? You know, she That's has fair. on this fucking ball gown. What is she? Why would she have a problem with Caroline Stonberry? That's fair. So it's really Brooks that I feel like Lisa should have a problem with, though, because Brooks is the one that's like, uh, <laughs> Brooks like, don't fuck you, with Lisa at all. She's like, yeah, I'm tired she's of like, this bitch this talking about her like, business. Yeah. And putting her fucking logo on everything. And it's like, I also agree with Brooks. Like, bitch, this Why? is not your shit. Stop putting your That's logo. Shit. That was her party. It was a Mina Row party. So everything is going to look like it's Mina Row. That's how the celebrities do. They rent out shit and they put their logo everywhere. Especially, but you have to understand, they're on camera. They probably know this is the last season. She has to literally 
advertise, advertise, advertise. So once you look on that camera, if you don't see my Mina Row t-shirt, you don't see my Mina Row hat, you don't see my Mina Row door. But wasn't that like a collab event? No one really paid. It was just her and Talene doing something, but uh, Talene clearly didn't pay enough to like, I don't even know the name of her, whatever the fuck she, her yoga company, whatever the fuck fuck it it is. It was a Mina Row event. Yeah, you're right. Free advertisement, baby. Somebody did, um, as a side note, somebody did see say that they seen what I said about Caroline Brooks' reunion look when she sat the fuck down. Yeah. That shit looked good. good. And I told y'all that yeah. it looked good. Tins. Tins. You did tell us that. You did tell us that. Because I was like, this picture is a 10. But is it going to move like a 10? And when she uploaded the pictures and they uploaded the videos. Damn. See how I'm quiet? Four plus four. Eight. But that's it. That's all, y'all. That's all I have to say. What else is going on? I felt like I had something else to say. Yeah, Are y'all excited about Married to Medicine? That's what I want to get into. <laughs> Do you have any gossip for us from here to medicine? No, I don't have nothing to say about it. Because I don't have, I haven't seen any updates like on social media. I have not seen nothing about Married to Medicine other than the cast pictures. Um, I also heard that Heavenly Heavenly said that um, Phaedra can't beat her ass. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know where that came from, but I was just like, oh, Heavenly. I feel like Heavenly and Phaedra really have a beef now, and I hate that because I actually liked it. But I, I've seen it coming at the same time because it's like it's it was, Heavenly. It's bound to happen. Um, but I do know, I do feel like Contessa can beat Heavenly's ass, and I'm not even gonna lie about that because Contessa has been in the military. Contessa can beat that whole cast ass, yeah. Like who who you, wait? Who do you think is a good contender? I feel like her and Quad would scrap. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Quad. I feel like Quad knows. How, okay, this is like the the Jocelyn Amber Rose thing. One of y'all know how to street fight, and one of y'all know how to fight fight. Right. And, and then I feel like Toya that. too. Toya, she's a good contender, but I'm talking about like because Toya's like, like no, nah, bitch, no, nah, bitch. And I love that. Like that fight with her and Mariah. Take me back to those days. Take me back. Do you remember when? I want to say Toya won that. I actually want to say Miss Lucy won that. Actually. Because Miss Lucy came coming in with that damn purse. And she was like. (laughs) Like hard as hell with all her might. Like that shit was funny. You guys, also, I heard from a birdie <laughs> that Krabby Patties are coming soon to Wendy's. And they better put Lisa Barlow on the fucking And I actually front. know, I know the exact date. You know the date? I know the date that they're coming. What's the date? Do Don't you want me to tell waiting. you? Yes. I'll tell you guys right now. Hold on. Let me find out. Are you out. pulling it out of your purse? You're going to say you don't have it? Because I'm going to like punch you in the face in real life. No, it's on the 8th of next month. October 8th. October 8th. I'm going to be first in line. When I say. And let me tell you kids, something. I know nobody that works at Wendy's. So then, how do you know? I've never met somebody that worked at Wendy's. I just know. I can guarantee that you've met someone that I've at never met your whole anybody. life. My whole life, I don't know anybody that works at Wendy's. It's like I wish we had CCTV footage of your entire life, just so I can find someone. No, because then you guys would catch me in a lot of lies, and I don't want that. Well, a lot of jokes because I don't Think lie. Again. I joke around. Think again. Okay, so Potster, have you ever met someone that worked at Wendy's? Oh, okay. No, it should be that was something. Too... <laughs> hey, I see what you did there. Oh, I want to know who do you think is really black on the OC cast? That's going to be mine. Yeah, that's fair. 
That's fair. Who do you think? And I'm not talking about Jersey because if I said Jersey, you guys would be like Dolores. We like, already know. Like, we're you not guys know that. that. But this is OC. So it's a little bit harder. A lot harder because when you a first said it, I they was don't like, t- they no don't really one. tan like, like that. No one. Mm-hmm. Not one person. Then I thought about Heather and when she does, like, it's her behavior that I'm like, African American Lee. I also felt like I wanted to say something. Oh, guys, I had Chicago style pizza for the first time. You got to try it. The deep, deep, deep dish. The deep, pizza. deep dish yeah. when they put that motherfucking sauce on top of the cheese. I had, I tried it before and it was delicious, but I had indigestion for it. I did for three years. Yeah. Like, yeah. It just stopped the other day. I, I had, had two pieces 21. and that was it. And I had three times. <laughs> I had two pieces of pizza and three tongues. I don't even have tongues. But that's all I gotta say, guys. Amazing. Chicago, we love you. Um, that's it. We will talk to you on Wednesday for the pop culture episode. We are going to talk about Bel Air, okay? Because we didn't get to it. Mm-hmm. We're talking about basketball wise, because we didn't get to it. Okay. And hold us baby, accountable. Y'all know my motherfucking show. I gotta fucking throw my fucking my um my eight. Wait, is it season eight there on? I don't know what season, but Selling Sunset is gonna be on by the time you get this motherfucking episode. Shout out to Selling Sunset Ooh. because they have been going through some shit. So just be ready. I want everybody to get information and also watch Tell Me Lies on Hulu because that's a something else that we're gonna be talking about too. All right, love y'all. Bye. Love y'all.